Good morning. Today is September 3rd, 2016, and I'll be reading from Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. Um, today it reads, Let the dew of my presence refresh your mind and heart. So many, many things vie for your attention in this complex world of instant communication. The world has changed enormously since I first gave the command to be still and know that I am God. However, this timeless truth is essential for the well-being of your soul. As dew refreshes grass and flowers during the stillness of the night, so my presence revitalizes you as you sit quietly with me. A refreshed, revitalized mind is able to sort out what's important and what's not. In its natural condition, your mind easily gets stuck on trivial matters. Like the spinning wheels of a car trapped in the mud, the cogs of your brain spin impotently when you focus on a trivial thing. As soon as you start communicating with me about the matter, your thoughts gain traction and you can move on to more important things. Communicate with me continually and I will put my thoughts in your mind. It's a very true statement. Sometimes we have the tendency of wanting control. And really, whenever we want control and we seek control, that's when we lose control. I've been stuck in the mud a time or two. I know what it's like. I remember dealing with my brother's death. Uh, when he passed away, I started just spinning and spinning and spinning. I was in the hospital parking lot, and I was just freaking out. And I couldn't stop crying, and, and it was just crazy. But the second I opened my lips and my heart and talked to my Father in Heaven, it's like everything was good again. I have a funeral to go to today. Uh, a good friend of mine, he lost his sister, and he'll be burying her. And it's a tough thing when you bury a sibling. You think they're not supposed to go before you. Um, so my prayer will be with him. And if you could include my friend in your prayer as well and his family, that he will be able to get out of the mud and focused on things that will lift him and bring him hope. Thanks. Have a great day.